Hey guys, and welcome back to Call the Wild. In today's video, we're gonna have a look at all of the different racks that there are, four great ones. We're gonna look at all the different variations. I thought that would be fun. Now, of course, I only have one of all of these different variations, but I am planning on putting a second great one in my lodge. Hopefully it won't take me 4,500 deer this time. If you do enjoy the video, guys, make sure to hit that like button. And if you'd like to join us for more daily Call of the Wild content, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the notify bell. And we're going to head right into it. Now, guys, let me know in the comments if you do have a great one in your lodge and which rack that you have and which one you wish you had. I would love to know. Let's do it. Now, before we actually head into the rack variations for great ones, I would like to explain what a great one is for those who might not know. So, as you know, in the game, we have different metal rankings. We have bronze, silver, gold, diamond, and we now have great ones. Now, there is only one great one species in the game right now, and that is whitetail. That is the only species you can get a great one out of right now they are planning on adding several more species for great ones into the game but right now it is just whitetail and in order to put a great one in your lodge the idea is to shoot as many whitetail bucks as you can to eventually spawn that great one now some people can do it in as little as 200 kills and then there's people like me it took me just under 4600 kills in mexico but i did finally get that great one last week let's have a look at the racks Okay, so I'm gonna start out by showing you one of the big racks, which is probably the most popular rack that there is for Great Ones and the original rack. So here it is here, and it is absolutely, absolutely stunning. I still want to have one of these in my lodge one day. I don't know if I ever will, but oh my goodness, this is probably the most beautiful deer that I have ever seen in the game. So it says here that this Big Rack Great One has 14 tines and 40 abnormal tines. He is the highest scoring of all the Great Ones. This guy's coming in at 635.2, this particular Great One, but I do believe that this is probably the most popular rack for Great Ones. And that particular Great One weighed 106.51 kilograms. Now, there are several racks for Great Ones out in the game right now, and if you are doing a grind right now, and you do end up with the great one. I don't know what the chances are of actually getting a big rack one as opposed to one of the other variations, but with all the different variations, it could be very tough to actually get that big rack and put them in the lodge, which is what I would love to do, but I don't know how hard that is going to be. Probably pretty tough for me. All right, let's have a look at another rack. So this rack here, this one is what I call the crown rack. It's beautiful, perfectly symmetrical, and this one scores 333.21, this one in particular. So this is a smaller racked one, but it is absolutely gorgeous. We are seeing a lot more split rack variations in the game now, but this one being symmetrical is absolutely beautiful. So this guy has eight tines and 14 abnormal tines. Okay guys, so this is my great one. I finally have a great one. I am so over the moon elated. I have been grinding for this guy for so long. Most people do not have to kill as many deer as I had to kill to get this great one. I had to kill 4,567 bucks to spawn my very first great one. And I actually killed 2,700 before that in Leighton. Those 4,600 deer, that was just Rancho. But this rack is the split rack. He is pretty cool. He is definitely pretty funky looking. He is definitely not symmetrical, but he is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I'm so, I can't look at this guy and not, and not grin ear to ear. I am just so, so happy to finally have this great one in my lodge. Guys, in so doing, I spawned 68, 68 diamond white tail between both of my grinds. I have killed a lot of deer. Here are some of them. 68 diamonds. Uh, I don't know how many rares we're at. I think we're at 28 rares. And finally this guy. We spawned him last Monday, just over a week ago. And uh, so that is the split rack. So I have been grinding. I am continuing my grind in Mexico with this many kills. I figure maybe, just maybe, we can spawn another one without having to kill 5,000 more, but we will see. We're gonna have a look at the stats on this guy. So this is one of the smaller racked great ones. 
With this rack, the Sky scored 410.4 and weighed 104.36 kilograms. And this particular rack had nine tines and 21 abnormal tines. I think this second capture is the same rack, but I'm not 100% sure. It's hard to tell when you only see the rack in one position and you can't actually move it around, but I'm pretty sure they're both the same. Moving on to another rack. So this rack here, this is actually a capture sent to me by my friend Corpse. This is actually his second great one. Now this guy does have a smaller rack, but I absolutely love this rack. I would not be disappointed to find this great one rack on my map at all. He is absolutely gorgeous. So this guy weighs 103.55 kilograms. And this is one rack that I have not seen a lot. I actually think the first time I saw this rack was when Corpse got it. I have not seen a lot of these ones, so I would love to find this one. Now this rack here, this guy scores 413.3. He weighs 106.21 kilograms, and I believe that's a non-typical rack. And that is another really beautiful small racked great one. Now most of these captures, guys, I did find online. So I don't have the time information for every single rack that I find. I do apologize about that. I just find all of this information really interesting to be able to compare all the different racks. So here's another rack, and this rack I actually saw for the very first time last week. I didn't even know this one existed, and I really like this one as well. I mean, I guess they can't really make a really bad great one. They're all awesome, let's be honest here. But this rack is stunning. It's not huge, but it is absolutely beautiful. And this rack here, this is a split rack, and it is smaller here just because the resolution of this picture is not the greatest, but I did want to include it because it's the only one I could find. I have never seen this rack before until today. So that's a brand new rack that I had no idea existed, but it is really cool how they can take various racks and mix them into one great one. So there are so many different racks. I actually do not know how many racks there are, more than I realized. And I did find this capture online. I do apologize for the quality of it, but this is actually a fabled piebald great one. I have never heard of anyone getting one, but that's what they actually look like. And I thought that was fascinating to see. Very, very cool. Now I believe Fabled Piebald is a fur variation reserved only for great ones. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure just for great ones. Now this image here, guys, I did find this online. I did not put it together myself. I am borrowing it, but I thought it was very cool. It shows a variety of all of the different Great One racks put together on one page so that you can visually see the differences. And it is really fascinating to look at. So it looks like there are various big rack Great Ones as well as many different variations and not even all of them were in that image. So that is really cool to look at and it really makes you think which which great one do you want? It is really hard to pick. And what are the chances of getting the one that you want? Probably pretty slim. The good news is they are all amazing. Let me know in the comments, guys, which rack is your favorite and why? There are so many to choose from, but I would absolutely love to know. And another thing I would love to know is which species you would like to see the next great one in. I personally would like to see muleys possibly red deer, fallow, and I would eventually love to see a great one moose. I would like to see a moose so big that it looks like it can barely hold its head up. Oh my goodness, I will grind hard for that. I am so looking forward to another great one species being added to Call the Wild. I actually personally do think the next great one species will be mule deer. I think that would be really cool, especially for the number one reason that we would have three maps to hunt them on and they do go to level five. So doing a great one grind for a species that goes up to level five would be a completely different experience from grinding for whitetail because they only go to level three. So I think it will be fascinating whatever great one we get next, but I think muleys would be a great pick. So in the patch notes, there was an adjustment to the spawn rate of great ones. I believe it's only for Mexico. That's what was mentioned at one of the EW live streams, but he wasn't hundred percent sure, but the spawn rate has been reduced in Mexico. So you may have to kill a few more than before, but hopefully you won't have to kill 4,600. So I do wish you guys the best of luck. That is going to wrap it up for this one, guys. If you did enjoy the video or learn anything at all, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing, smash that like button. And if you'd like to join us for more daily Call the Wild content, hit that subscribe button. 
don't forget to click the notify bell and we will see you guys in the next one. Take care guys. There he is. All right, we'll pick him up. Thank you, corpse. Here we go. Yes! Finally, we have a great one. Oh my God, taxi that thing immediately. <laughs> there it is. We did it. Thank you guys.